when he wrestled at Gardner Webb, qualified for the NCAAs two times, and then went on to replace longtime head coach at Gardner Webb, Dick Wentz, 11 years ago. You got to be very pleased. Daniel Elliott, the proud father of two, Owen and Griffin, married to Paisley, as we are now at 149. And at 149, Patrick Rowland for Duke taking on Parker Corwin. So Parker Corwin, we thought it was going to be Corbin Dion at 4 and 15. Instead, it's Parker Corwin, a freshman, who will get a chance for Coach Elliott and the running Bulldogs. Patrick Rowland, the redshirt junior at 149, is from Woodland Hills, California, Chaminade College Prep. He was 1-4 in the 1920 season, 1-6 the following season. Last year went 6-21. and 21. This year, he's been pretty good, 11-14, and 14, all at 149. And Roland with a good start here. Single leg, the sweep. Did not get his body around for the points, but he does have Corwin in a tough spot here as he's still hanging on to the left leg. Glenn Lanham is standing up. Roland trying to sweep the right leg. And now he'll pull Corwin back in to give him the opportunity to do exactly that. There it is. It took him a little while, and he still doesn't get the two because Corwin, to his credit, stood up after the sweep. So he does not get the takedown, and we're still at zeros. There it is. Now he finally gets it. So Patrick Rowland, five and seven in duels, six and six in tournaments. He does have one pin. He has been pinned twice. Patrick Rowland looking good at the moment, up to zero here against Parker Corwin. So Corwin, instead of Corbin Dion, Corbin Dion, by the way, four and 15. Parker Corwin starts or is down here at 105, remaining in the first 2 0. And now we'll see Roland try to add to the riding time, which is walking up to 30 seconds, and that's where it is right now. You could hear Glenn Lanham say, Roll the ribs. Now we're seeing Corwin, at least we did a moment ago, try to get his hands wide. And when he did, Roland grabbing the left hand, he's still hanging on to that left hand. Now again, Corwin gets his hands wide. You can see every time he tries to release the hand of Roland, Roland gets himself in a little better spot. Roland is definitely being the aggressor. We will keep an eye on a possible warning for stalling for Corwin, as Corwin is not doing much. And through one, it's 2-0, Roland. It took him a while to get the takedown. He finally did get it. Now he'll start down to start the second. We'll see if Corwin puts up a fight or if he'll let Roland get up to his feet. At the moment, Corwin gets high on Roland, and that could put him in a tough spot if Roland can get up. Roland is strong, and as I mentioned, has had a good season. That's a decent job by Corwin, keeping the upper body of Roland down. The head's still down for Roland. So Corwin, now you see Roland, and these are the steps I'm talking about from Glenn Lanham, and that makes it 3-0. Well done, Patrick Roland. Took a little bit of upper body heat there from Corwin, but got through it in less than 30 seconds and gets that third point. It's Patrick Rowland three, Parker Corwin zero. Through three matches, it has been the running Bulldogs running the show, though. Two falls and a tech fall to start. Just about perfect for Gardner Webb. Rowland trying to stop that train. He gets another single leg shot, then the sweep. And he gets two more. That is textbook work there from Patrick Rowland to make it 5-0 with 55 seconds remaining here in the second. Cameron Indoor.
Duke took on Virginia Tech over at Card Arena a week or so ago as basketball was featured here at Cameron Indoor, but they're back in Cameron Indoor for wrestling tonight. They've got some wood to chop, and Roland is starting to chop it with a 5-0 lead, riding time above 90 seconds. 25 seconds remaining in the second. It's been all Patrick Rowland, short of the first 20 seconds of this second period where Corwin had a little bit of success keeping Rowland down. Still trying to keep my eyes alert there for a potential stall here from Corwin. As I mentioned, Rowland doing all of the work, and we are now through two and we'll head to the third and now let's see what Corwin has or if Roland wants to let him go I am thinking based on how this is going Roland's going to try to keep him down here he's got two minutes of riding time you saw Corwin make an initial move and you can tell he is gassed Roland putting a ton of weight around the head and shoulders of Corwin Roland looking for some instruction now he looks like he gets the Word from the Duke bench to go ahead and let him go and try the shot. The one leg shot in the sweep has been solid. There's a one leg shot again. There's the sweep. And he can't get his body around. Good job defensively by Corwin. Corwin spins around. And I thought Corwin was spinning himself into trouble. And he still may be. Yeah, Roland now has got the leg. All he's got to do is get that left ankle released. And he'll get two more. There it is. He got it released. So now it's seven to one. Really solid work here from the redshirt junior, Patrick Rowland. Got a win over Max Peterson of North Dakota State this season. And he has faced Parker Corwin already. He beat him 4-0. So this is the second time these two have gone head to head. It's seven to two. Oh my. There for a second, Corwin, yeah. There'll be two more points there. And in the process, Roland had Corwin, he had both shoulders down for a second on that move. A great move from Roland. He's keeping one foot in right now and trying to add. He's approaching three minutes of riding time and what has been a dominant performance. Wow, Roland just kind of spun himself into a little bit of unnecessary trouble. And the final seconds are counting down, and Duke will get on the board. So Duke will pick up three, and it's now 17 to three, courtesy of the three points from Patrick Roland at 149. So that's going to move to 